भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भगवती नैष्ट की ग्रंथरा श्रीमद भागवतम की जय ग्रंथरा श्रीमद भगवत गीता की जय हरे कृष्णा थैंक यू ऑल वेरी मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग पीक ऑफ हीट पीक ऑफ हॉलीडेज बट स्टिल समहाउ और दी अदर कृष्णा इज मर्सीफुल वी आर एबल टू मीट एंड डू दिस भगवत गीता क्रैश कोर्स सो थैंक यू ईच वन ऑफ यू प्लीज एक्सेप्ट माई ओबी सेंसेस आई विल शेयर द शंकर प्रभु यू विल काइंडली मैनेज द टर्न बाई टर्न ओके माता जी थैंक यू सो मच हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा प्रभु जी हरे कृष्णा हाउ आर यू वो बाइक हा हरि बोल प्रभु जी इज देयर ही इज कमिंग प्रभु जस्ट ऑन द वे ओके वंडरफुल वंडरफुल वील जस्ट स्टार्ट द री कैप मीन वाइल नो वरीज श्योर श्योर प्रभु ओके Ah, Hare Krishna, can you see the screen? Yes, Prabhu. Okay, Hare Krishna. Okay, Priya Mata Ji, you manage that way. Huh? As devotees, if somebody else also joins, Hare Krishna. Oh, okay. Okay, man. Okay, Hare Krishna. So, uh, it's really unimaginable how Prabhu Pad has made Bhagavad Gita so simple for us. so whatever is here is a copy paste from shrila prabhupad's bhagavad gita as it is so we will first recap chapter 1 to chapter 5 and today we will do the chapter 6 so we will go very fast 1 to 5 recap i will do so that we can quickly do if uh, you have any queries correction suggestions kindly stop me uh, we are trying to do in such a way that whatever best krishna arranges with his guidance i can help myself i can understand with his mercy and so if any devotees have any queries we can discuss amongst each other and krishna will give one of us i am sure uh, the thought basis what shila prabhupad has written we will be able to understand so chapter 1 very clearly krishna took the chariot and um, arjun is sitting there krishna is sitting actually at the lotus feet of arjun because the seat is down below where the main the where arjun is sitting is on the high pedestal and krishna is taking orders who can do like this other than krishna and not to forget our dear hanuman ji was sitting at the flag mast of the chariot and he was one of the ones who also listened to shrimad bhagavad gita when krishna spoke that and uh, as you all know after the fighting was over krishna first asked arjun to get down first and then arjun was a uh, little bewildered that why is he doing so so he first got down and krishna then got down and after that hanuman ji leaves the flag and the chariot goes in flames so actually krishna showed that because of his mercy and his devotees mercy hanuman ji the chariot was intact otherwise it was finished long time back <laughs> so chapter 1 krishna took the arjun asked please take the chariot in the middle of the two armies and he took it there and he could see all the kauravas standing ready to fight in anger for the kingdom in fact uh, at one place arjun says that for whom i am fighting this battle if they are not there what will i do with the kingdom is amazing words so he was not fighting for himself he was fighting for everybody but 
the Kauravas were different and when Arjun saw his uh, Guruji and his family members, he was in tears, his body was trembling and he sat down saying, I'm not going to fight. Actually, he says literally in Bhagavad Gita in chapter 2, I better beg, I will sit, I will not fight and he sat down. And then Krishna gives him the summary of Srimad Bhagavad Gita, the information about the soul and the body, that the body changes, the soul does not change. So anyway, it's going to change. So by fighting, if it changes, then why do you worry? He gives that information. He also gives the information about the soul, that the soul does not have any birth, old age, disease, death. It, fire cannot burn, water cannot wet it. Simple reason, soul is a different substance other than the material substance. And then he gives the instruction that you should do the prescribed duty ordained by me because I have only created everything. So the work is also coming from me. You just perform your duty and don't be worried about the fruits. That is not up to you because that is sanctioned by me and that you can't really decide. And you do the work in Krishna consciousness. So this was the summary of chapter 2. Chapter 3, Krishna further elaborates about the Karma Yoga and about Karma Yoga in Krishna consciousness. Prabhupada, something very subtle in Prabhupada's Bhagavad Gita as it is, if the word to word translation is done, then, for example, karm yoga is that. Oh, one second. Chavi darwaja ban kar dena jara. So, if word to word, if it's taken, then what it tells karm yoga is doing work without anything in, without expecting anything in return. But when Prabhupada goes into translation and purport he says doing work in Krishna consciousness so frankly speaking the speciality of Bhagavad Gita as it is is that no matter what route is given Gyan Yoga, Karma Yoga, Dhyan Yoga, Bhakti Yoga Prabhupada has connected everything to Bhakti Yoga because that is during this era of Kali Yoga is the simplest and easiest way of realizing Krishna because time is of the essence and human body is dwindling by the day. So he tells Karma Yoga, if you don't do work, that also, if you don't do your duty, that also is bad work. Na Karmanam Anarambad. And then he also tells that if you don't work for me, it will have bondage. But if you work for yourself, it will have bondage. If you work from me, for me, then you will not have bondage because I take responsibility of all the results and I free you from the bondage. So basically work for me. And then he says that because you are working for me, you should not be lethargic. Actually, you should be more enthusiastic because it's like working for the king. Somebody working for Sheikh Muhammad, he will work much more vigorously because he knows he is so close to the king and uh, he is representing king. And that's what Prabhupada mentions that Arjun was told that look, you are my devotee, you are my dear friend, you are representing me. So you stand up, fight for me, not for profits. So this was, and then also he tells that Arjun asks why one is impelled to do sinful activities even though one does not want. And he answers that it is lust, the kamana due to which one is impelled to do wrong things also. And then Krishna tells some very big secret where the lust is sitting. The lust is sitting in not only in senses and mind, but also in intelligence. So therefore, if material intelligence is being used for anything, then lust cannot be avoided. But when real intelligence, dadami buddhi yogam tam, when that is given by Krishna, which is through devotional service, then one is able to discriminate between lust and not lust and then one is able to come out of lust. So this was the chapter 3 and Krishna said to conquer lust 
one should work in krishna consciousness and get the higher taste for example if any of these con devotees by chance has to go to any bar for any office party or anything the person outwardly might be smiling but internally that person is not enjoying because they have got a higher taste so krishna said look you cannot really give up desire but you can change your desire from a lower level taste to a higher level which is krishna consciousness taste chapter 4 any questions doubt or corrections please at this stage so that all okay so far yes from all okay okay mataji chapter 4 transcendental knowledge now krishna further goes ahead and he tells about himself he tells that who is he he janma karma chame divyam he is transcendental his body is also made of only spiritual substance and then the famous uh, information which he tells that if one sees action in inaction and in action in action that is a true transcendentalist meaning if one sees action in in action meaning one is doing krishna conscious work in action a karma but that is that person's karma so basically he does a karma a karma is working for krishna no material result coming back and seeing in action in action one is doing normal work but the way the person is doing offering it to krishna it becomes a karma it becomes in action so basically all actions once they are converted into in action meaning all karma when it is converted into a karma karma is for sense gratification a karma is for krishna once that that shift happens the one is a transcendentalist and then he also tells there are three types of karma sakam for material benefit vikarma bad work and akarma meaning there is no material result coming back working for krishna chapter 5 karm yoga action in krishna consciousness so now krishna tells that if somebody thinks that somebody will leave because when we do any material work especially then there is a irritation and there is a dissatisfaction in doing the activity because every activity is generating and dying and we don't we are thinking we will get something in return which it doesn't come at least in that proportion so that activity if somebody leaves and renounces huh then what will happen and just goes to the forest then dukh aap tum ayogata if somebody forcefully leaves the duties it will lead to miseries because the duties are made to purify the senses till the time senses are only doing all activities for krishna which is a karma until that time duties must be done so somebody can ask at what stage one can stop their doing their duties the answer is automatically krishna will arrange that the duties are taken care of if one has reached at that level or the person will be able to do krishna's work while doing the duties because he is dedicating all the activities to krishna anybody who act, who offers his activities to lord krishna and remembers him and chants his name is as good as a sanyasi so krishna says that one has to do action in devotional service sanyas astu mahabaho dukha tum ayogatah if one takes sanyas forcefully from the duties then dukh aap tum person will become miserable and then krishna tells that a person who is a transcendentalist he sees or she sees everybody with the same vision whether be a brahmana a cow or a elephant or a dog or a dog eater and very key information which he tells is that what is the reason for people having misery in their life 
The reason is that they have given their heart to something which has an end. Apna dil de diya marne wali cheez ko. The moment that is done, it is misery. Because the soul is not going to die, but the affection which has been attached to somebody is not going to be permanent. So therefore misery. So the question can be then what should be done? So the answer to that Prabhupada says is that if one is in family, if they see all family members as Krishna's part and parcel as a gift from Krishna, then they are not giving their hearts to their material bodies of a wife or a children, but they are giving their heart to a soul of Krishna, Mame Vanshu Jeevaloke. And therefore the connection is permanent. That is why the misery will not be there or at least be reduced in the proportion of the understanding. And then he tells peace formula, one who accepts and knows that Krishna is the Bhoktaram, Yagya Tapsam, Sarva Lok Mahishwaram, Suhrdaya Sarva Yatvam Maam, Sashantim Shantim Ati Rachati. So one who knows that three things, Krishna is Bhoktaram, Sarva Lok Maheshwaram and Suhrdaya, Yatvam Maam, if one knows Sashantim, that person reaches Shanti. This is the Five. Now we will start today chapter 6 Dhyan Yoga. Hare Krishna. What is the time Prabhuji Mataji? Prabhu 8.20. 8.20. Okay. So this will go up till 8.40-20 minutes. Oh wonderful. Okay. Chapter 6 Dhyan Yoga. Now let us see some very important information Krishna tells. So 6.1. So this Dhyan Yoga in this chapter, Krishna will talk about the eightfold Patanjali Yoga. He will talk about the Yoga Ladder. Then he will also talk about how the Yoga Ladder from bottom to top is reached. And then he will finally give his conclusion as to who is a topmost Dhyana Yogi, who, is, who has done Siddhi of Dhyana Yoga, he will tell that information. But before that, Krishna is still having the, <laughs> the Karma Yoga hangover, if I can say, in the, in, for Rasa. He is still telling, because he can see that Arjun is not wanting to fight. So my situation also, when I go to office, so many challenges, I don't want to fight. Krishna has explained so much, but he still, before starting the next chapter, he still again once more says, tells who is a sannyasi. Yes, kindly read. Hare Krishna, Mausam Rakeshani, please read. Hare Krishna. Yes, Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Dandavad. Yeah, Sri Bhagavan Uvacha. Uh, anashrita karma karma phalam karyam karma karotiya sa sanyasi cha yogi cha na nirag nir na chakriya oh wonderful huh. uh, translation translation by Srila Prabhupada uh, the supreme personality of God had said one who is unattached to the fruits of his work and one and uh, who works as he is obligated is in the renounced order of life and he is a true mystic not he who lights no fire and performs no duty <laughs> krishna is telling in very crude words huh? see this the shloka amazing shloka anashrita ashrit means one who is dependent one who has taken shelter anashrita meaning one who is not dependent is take not on without taking shelter. So one Shri Bhagavan Uvacha, Krishna said, Anashrita Karma Phalam. One who has not taken shelter or was not dependent on the karma phal. One who is not dependent on the result of the work, meaning the person is doing work in Krishna consciousness. And one who is doing work not for material results. Karyam karma karotiya, that person is not attached to the fruit, is not taken shelter 
ऑफ द कर्म फल बट दैट पर्सन इज डूइंग वर्क कार्य कर्म करोती ही इज डूइंग हिज कर्म इन सच अ वे दैट ही हैज नॉट टेकन शेल्टर ऑफ द रिजल्ट बट ही इज डूइंग कार्य वट इज ऑब्लाइज टू डू इज डूइंग हिज ड्यूटी विदाउट टेकिंग शेल्टर ऑफ द फ्रूट सह संन्यासी च योगी च दैट पर्सन इज ए संन्यासी एंड दैट पर्सन इज अ योगी सो इन कृष्णास डेफिनेशन ऑफ संन्यासी एंड योगी इज नॉट द वन हु हैज गिवन अप हिज ड्यूटी Krishna clearly says the one who is sanyasi and yogi is not who has given up his duty but a person who is doing work without taking shelter of the fruit the person is not attached to the fruit and is doing his duty that person is a sanyasi na nir agnir cha akriya a person is not a sanyasi if that person has not even started fire meaning he has not started any work नर अग्निर ही हेज नॉट इवन स्टार्टेड सपोज द प्रसादम हेज टू बी मेड दैट पर्सन इज नॉट इवन स्टार्टेड फायर इफ दैट पर्सन इज नॉट डूइंग हिज ड्यूटी न च अक्रिया एंड ही इज डो नॉट डूइंग हिज ड्यूटी अक्रिया क्रिया मीन्स डूइंग ड्यूटी अक्रिया मीन्स नॉट डूइंग ड्यूटी सो अ पर्सन हु इज नॉट डूइंग हिज ड्यूटी एंड नॉट इवन स्टार्टेड वर्किंग हिज ड्यूटी दैट पर्सन माई डियर इज नॉट अ सन्यासी हु इज अ सन्यासी a person who is doing karyam who is obliged to do his duty and is anashrita is not taken shelter of the karma phalam anashrita for what karma phalam meaning one who has not taken so prabhu he says one who is unattached to the fruits of his work and who works as he is obligated is in the renounced order and there is a true mystic not he who lights no fire and performs no duty so he is telling arjun and me by you what are you talking you please start your work light up the fire and do your duty because you are thinking you will go and beg but that is not sanyasi that person is an escapist that person is a lazy person that person is taking excuse of the scriptures to run away from their duty that person will not achieve anything will fall down better you do your duty and take then don't take the shelter of the fruit of your work 6.1 wonderful shloka yes amazing sorry raghu prabhu raghu raj prabhu ah okay okay oh i will read translation only sure please go ahead Uh, somebody can read the shloka then i will read the so you read the translation then we will do the shloka don't worry okay the translation of bhagavad uh, bg 6.3 the yoga leader ladder ladder for one oh sorry the yoga ladder for one who is purified in the eightfold yoga system work is said to be the means and for one who is already elevated in yoga cessation of all material activities is said to be the means ha ah. now krishna is telling how a person can reach from a sakam karm yogi to the highest devotee of him who how you can reach that ladder that ladder he is explaining here so he is saying arurukshah the one who has just begun yoga munah yogam कर्म कारण उच्चते सो वन हु हैज जस्ट बिगिन योगा फॉर दैट पर्सन वर्क मीनिंग सकाम वर्क मटीरियल वर्क दैट इज द मीन्स दैट मीन्स द फर्स्ट द गोल ऑफ अ नॉर्मल पर्सन इज आई विल डू सकाम वर्क एंड आई विल गेट द रिटर्न ऑफ द फ्रूट्स ऑफ माई एक्टिविटीज दैट इज द बिगिनिंग दैट इज नॉट इवन बिगिनिंग दैट इज द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ द योगा लेडर द पर्सन इज एट द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ सकाम कर्म now this is the lowest level of the ladder what is the highest level of the yoga ladder yoga means connection so you lowest level meaning there is no connection only only sakam work is there now the highest is yoga arudhasya so the eight fold system which is there so yoga arudhasya one who has reached the highest of the yoga ladder tasya eva शम कारण उच्चते फॉर दैट पर्सन ओनली देर इज ससेशन ऑफ मटीरियल एक्टिविटीज 
सो फॉर अ न्यो फाइट फॉर अ स्टार्टिंग पर्सन द एट फोल्ड योगा सिस्टम इज सेट टू बी द वर्क इज सेट टू बी द मीन्स तो इज डूइंग सकाम कर्म एंड दैट इज द मीन्स बट फॉर वन हु इज ऑलरेडी एलिवेटेड इन योगा हुज रीच एट द टॉप ऑफ द योगा लेडर मीनिंग भक्ति योगा for that person there is cessation of all material activities because there are no material activities whatever that person does becomes a karma that person sees a karma in karma that person sees inaction in action so this is the yoga ladder starting doing sakam karm highest reaching a level of pure devotional service where all activities material activities cease only devotional activities meaning the whatever person does is devotional service is it okay should we go to the next oh yes prabhu okay just 2 minutes before 40 minutes just tell me so that i will be ready with the because i'll have to relog in okay yes next devotee kindly read saila jamala ji hari bol this slide to me yes report hari krishna परफेक्टेशन इन प्योर स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ according to various evaluation different part of the ladder are known by different names but all in all the complete ladder is called yoga and may be divided into three part namely jnana yoga dhyan yoga and bhakti yoga gyan yoga dhyan yoga and bhakti yoga the beginning of the ladder is called yoga guru suku stage and the highest rung is called yoga rudha yoga rudha so he is telling there is a yoga ladder starting point lowest material condition of life which is sense gratification highest is perfect self realization meaning realizing krishna that we are part and parcel and we have to serve him that is the highest but in between there are many stages are there various elevations various stages so they are basically gyan yoga dhyan yoga and bhakti yoga but ultimately one reaches bhakti yoga and that is called yoga arudh meaning sitting on top of yoga meaning arudh means sitting on top yoga arudh means fully established in yoga that i think is the right word shall we move is it okay Yes, Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu. Okay. Next devotee, please. Sachit ki madad ki kani please read. Sachit ki madad ki kani please read. Okay, I think she's not here. I will be. Okay. Concerning the eightfold yoga system. attempts in the beginning to enter into meditation through regulative principle of life and practice of different sitting posture which are more or less bodily exercises are considered to be new material activities if anybody or else is on activity. prabhu one minute if anybody else is uh, mic is open kindly mute because echo is coming when we speak we can can unmute please hari krishna yes prabhu go on all such activities lead to achieving perfect mental equilibrium to control the senses when one is accomplished in the practice of meditation dhyana yoga 
diseases all disturbing disturbing mental activities a krishna consciousness person however is situated from the beginning on the platform of meditation because he always thinks of krishna and being constantly engaged in the service of krishna he is considered to have ceased all material activities bhakti yoga hari bol so now krishna is telling that this dhyan yoga is actually part of the eightfold yoga system we will see in a minute what it is but in this eightfold yoga system there are yam niyam dhyan there are variety of steps eight steps are there so we will see what what are these eight steps and eventually the seventh step is dhyan yoga and then self realization so he is saying concerning the eight fold yoga system attempts in the beginning to enter into meditation through regulative principle of life and practice of different sitting postures are considered fruitive material activity so once somebody starts i will sit like this i will do this pranayama i will do that that is all basically material activities but finally that person rises we will see how this eight fold yoga works how the dhyan yoga when the one actually does the dhyan yoga which is actually focusing on lord krishna's parmatma feature in the heart when one is accomplished in the practice of that dhyan yoga he or she ceases all disturbing mental activities because then their activities are only spiritual probar says that this eight fold system is difficult we will see in a minute how and in the end also it ends with the dhyan with focusing on lord krishna as parmatma roop in the heart but one who is in krishna conscious person does not have to go through the tds process of the eight fold system because dhyan before dhyan yoga there are other steps there are six steps are there then dhyan yoga and then final uh, final realization so therefore prabhupad says that krishna conscious person is directly situated on the platform of dhyan yoga because he is all the time engaged she is all the time engaged in the service of lord krishna that is bhakti yoga okay so this eight fold yoga where there are eight steps is the ashtanga yoga so can somebody read please kusmita mada ji जी प्रभु जी हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा तो अष्टांग योग जी यमा रिस्ट्रेन मॉरल डिसिप्लिन और मॉरल वाउस सेकेंड वन नियम पॉजिटिव ड्यूटीज और ऑब्जर्वेंस थर्ड वन आसन पॉस्चर फोर्थ वन प्रणायाम ब्रीदिंग टेक्निक्स फिफ्थ वन सेवेंथ स्टेप in the ashtanga yoga ashtanga means eight fold yoga there are eight steps in it ashtanga yoga like ashtavakra his body is bent eight ways like that ashtanga yoga when one wants to do ashtanga yoga krishna will explain little bit in the later one has to start with yama that means i will not do this what i should not do those things for example devotees are by vows itself they are doing yama no alcohol no illicit sex uh, no meat eating no gambling this is also this is yama main yama is this only because if these four are done we are in kaliyug as parikshit maharaj gave the boon to kaliyug second is niyam every day i will chant 16 rounds i will chant four four rounds i will chant one round niyam next is asan in ashtanga yoga one has to we'll see in a minute one has to go in a secluded spot put kushagra sit in a particular posture and then one has to keep the body still asan different asans different sitting techniques have to be applied then fourth in ashtanga yoga is pranayam 
that is inhale exhale we know there are uh, anulom vilom those kind of exercises are done to keep make the mind still that is why actually it is done then pratyahar then wherever mind goes withdraw from the from the sense that is a much difficult thing rather than seeing that that thing is also krishna's energy or krishna himself that is a much easier one but removing forcefully from a sense is a very difficult and an artificial thing that is pratyahar then dharana then you concentrate and then dhyan we will see in the end what is the topmost dhyan dhyan basically seeing parmatma feature in our heart that is dhyan and then uh, prabhu ji yes mata ji Sorry, sorry to disturb. Uh, actually, one minute only left. Okay. For forty minutes. Too. Okay. Samadhi, yeah. I will stay, and then we will rejoin. So Samadhi is after Dhyan, Krishna realization and Darshan. Hare Krishna. So I will exit and come back. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Mata Ji. Welcome, Prabhu. I think it's still forty minutes. I have not exited. Looks like a huh? okay. हरे कृष्णा प्रभु जी हरे कृष्णा जस्ट गव गिव वन मिनिट हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा आई थिंक एवरीबडी हेज कम इजेंट इट ओके प्रभु जी हरे कृष्णा टू आर पेंडिंग सेवाली माता जी सी विल टेक मी शशि मुखी माता जी शी इज देयर हु हु एल्स इज पेंड कम टू जॉइन प्रभु शनवंदी 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 माता जी शनवंदी माता जी इज हु मे बी आई नो आई ओके ओके मे बी मे बी द नेम इज कमिंग फ्रॉम अ डिफरेंट दिस वन Prabhu ji, can you just uh, because my camera is recording? Can you kindly, Prashankar Prabhu, put in the group kindly rejoin? Okay, sure, bro. Thank yeah, perform. Okay. Meanwhile, I'll start off. Eh? Okay. Okay, you can see the slide, no? Yes, yes Prabhu. Prabhu. Okay, Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu. Thank you, thank you. Prabhu, yeah, strong you, strong you, new by Hari Krishna chanting is good. <laughs> <laughs> Arjun is going to say that. <laughs> yes, Prabhu. <laughs> Devotees are as intelligent as Arjun. How we can think of? <laughs> <laughs> But you know, sometimes unless the difficulties are told, people take. Easy things as अरे ये तो this is too easy जैसे if a lesson is taught free of charge people don't take it seriously but when the fees is very big they think yes. oh this must be something great otherwise how come so much fees similarly here if he does not explain about the ज्ञान योग अष्टांग योग ध्यान योग etc etc then people will say devotional service uh, I don't think it is really because there is nothing difficult about it so that means it is not something Uh, that important, but actually, 
it is so simple that people think it is not important and they want to do something difficult some people are like that so anyway the, he gives all the information because yeah, so right. uh, see actually the bhagavad gita is for all the yugas so if you have 100000 age maybe uh, you know 1000 years one can try this out and then go on to the bhakti yoga but we have only maximum not even 100 actually speaking the <laughs> so okay the other two also were able to join prabhu Oh, still they didn't join. I uh, sent message. Okay, Okay, we'll start so out. That's continue. okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So then dhyan on the on Lord Krishna's Paramatma feature, and then finally samadhi that is having Krishna darshan as Paramatma feature. Okay. So this is Ashtang Yoga. Now he tells. So we have just to summarize. Yes, please go ahead. Angry father, can you please see? Okay, Hare Krishna. The Yoga Nader uh, Bhagavad Gita 6.3 Material condition to ultimate Krishna realization. Uh, material condition, third one is the Gyan Yoga, Dhyan Yoga, Bhakti Yoga. Hare Bol. So, the, basically, ladder has four major steps. One is material condition, then Gyan Yoga, soul, body, information, then Dhyan Yoga, and then Bhakti Yoga. But Dhyan Yoga, why it is important, we will see in a minute. Though it is very difficult. Okay. Let's read this. Shravanti Madhaji. Shravanti Madhaji, can you please sing? Yes, Shad Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Shri La Prabhupada. Udare Dhatmanatmanam Natmanam Avasadhe Atmai vahi atmano bandur Atmai vahi pur atmanaha Hari Hari Translation please One must deliver himself with the help of his and not degrade himself The mind is the friend of the conditioned soul and his enemy as well mm. Beautiful Now you see First of all he is telling that what all is required in that The eight steps are given in that and then one has to concentrate. For concentration, the tool is mind. So to give that additional information, <laughs> Krishna is not giving in fine prints, he publishes it. He said, Uddhret Atmana Atmanam. So one should do Uddhar. Kaise? By the mind. Of whom? Atmanam. One should do, deliver himself with the help of the mind. Huh? Na atmanam avsadiyet, but don't use your mind to degrade yourself. Atmeva hi atmanaha bandhu. Mind is a friend, and atma eva ripu atmanaha, and certainly it is an enemy. So, <laughs> one entity sitting inside our body called mind, which is also our friend, and which is also our enemy. Krishna is saying use it as a friend my dear don't use it for the purpose of making it and harming you and in what circumstances mind will be uh, mind will be a friend, a bandhu and not a ripu, not an enemy, Krishna tells in the next one yes please Hare Krishna Raghuraj Kumar Prabhu can you please You can do the translation, Prabhu. Mm -hmm. We'll do the Bhagavad Shloka. Yes, please. Uh, for who who has conquered the mind, the mind is the best of friends. But for one who has failed to do so, his mind will remain the <laughs> greatest enemy. So, so the Yoga one has to concentrate. Now he's telling, look, my dear, here is a mind. The one who has conquered the mind, the mind will act in a very friendly way. But if the soul has not conquered the mind, it will remain the greatest enemy. Now, at least in my example, in my experience, I have not seen anybody who has permanently controlled the mind. <laughs> it is impossible. So he is saying, Bandhu Atma Atmanaha 
तस्येन आत्म एव आत्मन जित बंधुरात्मन तस्त्म आत्मन जित वन वॉज कॉन्कर्ड जित वन वॉज कॉन्कर्ड द माइंड इन दैट केस इट इज ए फ्रेंड बंधु बंधु आत्मन आत्मा आत्मन वेन द माइंड इज फ्रेंड वेन द माइंड हेज बीन कॉन्कर्ड एंड अनात्मन अनात्मन वन हू हेज नॉट कंट्रोल द माइंड दैट फॉर दैट आत्म एव शत्रुवत इफ इट इज शत्रुवत मीन्स लाइक एन एनिमी ग्रेटेस्ट एनिमी सो इफ द माइंड इज कंट्रोल्ड इट इज बिगेस्ट एंड द बेस्ट फ्रेंड बट इफ द माइंड इज अनकंट्रोल्ड इट इज द ग्रेटेस्ट एनिमी सो आई मीन इट इज सच अ वॉट अ कॉम्प्लेक्स ह्यूमन क्रिएशन कृष्णा हेज डन एवरीथिंग इज पैक्ड इन टू द ह्यूमन बींग्स नाउ कमिंग टू ओके लेट सी वॉट अर्जुन हैज टू से बट जस्ट लेट सी टेक्स्ट यस प्लीज सेक्लूडेड माता जी अकेले वाली जगह सेक्लूडेड प्लेस मीनिंग अ प्लेस वेर देर इज नो बडी Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Sorry, no, no. I should lay bush grass on the ground and then cover it with the deer de skin. Deer, deer skin, Mata Ji. Hiran, Hiran ki khal. Hiran ki khal. Deer skin. Deer skin. Sorry, Prabhu. My. No, no. Don't worry about. Sorry, we are all learning only from sorry. Prabhupada. No worries. Yes, yes, Prabhu. The seat should be neither too high nor low, and should be situated in a sacred place. The yogi should then sit on it very firmly and practice yoga to purify the heart by constant sense and activities and fixing the mind on one point. Wait, Mata Ji. Wait, 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 Mata Ji. Wait. So okay. now you see. so there are eight steps right yam niyam asan pranayam pratyahar dharan and dhyan and then samadhi now he is telling to reach up to dhyan what one has to do one has to go to a lonely place then put the kusha grass cover it with the deer skin hiran ki khal and a soft cloth then sit firmly and fix your mind on one point but which point yes mata ji जी subdued mind devoid of fear completely free from sex life one should meditate upon me within the heart and make me the ultimate goal of life or good the goal of life is to know krishna who is situated within the heart of every living being parmatma the four handed vishnu form the yoga process is practiced in order to discover and see this localized form of vishnu and not for any other purpose oh. ashtanga yoga which is divisible into an eightfold procedure called yama niyama asana pranayama pratyahara dharana dhyana and samadhi ah uh, sumanga to ask the question prabhu okay mata ji प्रभुजी नोज एवरीथिंग बट फॉर आवर एनलाइटमेंट प्रभुजी आस वंडरफुल क्वेश्चंस आई नो नो प्रभुजी दिस इज दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस वन प्रभुजी आई एम सॉरी एक्चुअली आई आई वाज वेटिंग आई थॉट मे बी समथिंग विल बी देयर इन द नेक्स्ट श्लोक सो दैट्स आई डिडंट आस्क प्रभुजी आई एम सॉरी दिस वन सो प्रभुजी एक्चुअली 
uh, from the previous shloka, no, that how to control the mind. I mean, it says that uh, one who considers the mind, uh, and then uh, that is very important, right? Yeah, yeah. So one so, is one must deliver himself with the help of mind, and if one has conquered the mind, mind is friend. If the if he is not conquered, mind is enemy. Yes, Prabhuji. Yeah. So I think Prabhuji, our in our devotional service, this is the, the very very important thing is that conquering the mind. Mm. So because to get delivered, we have to make our mind a friend. There is mm. no doubt about it. Mm. There is no options actually left. Correct. There is no other option left. Yes. If we really want to deliver ourselves, yes. we have to make mind a friend. Yes. Next point it says that if you want to make your mind a friend, you have to conquer the mind. Yeah. Mm. So now the question is how to conquer the mind. Are you all jai? That is our <laughs> like success in life now. How to conquer the mind? Hundred percent correct. <laughs> correct, correct, Prabhu ji. Answer, answer is coming. Krishna will answer. Yeah. Krishna. Is coming next slogan. Ah, it is coming. Krishna is answering. Okay, okay. 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 Then I'll wait for that. Wonderful, wonderful, okay. wonderful. Hari bol, hari, hari. Okay. So now here, Krishna okay, is hari. telling that, look, my dear, you want to do dhyan yoga? No problem. There are eight steps are there. First, do go to a secluded place, put the grass green, and then on that deer skin, then cloth, then sit straight, everything, and then focus on the tip of this, then focus on one point. Then what is that point? One should meditate upon me within the heart and make me the ultimate goal of life. So the other meditations of void etc. is not Dhyan Yoga. Dhyan Yoga means in Ashtang Yoga, the seventh point of Dhyan is to Dhyan on me, Krishna says, within the heart. Text 13 and 14 is very clear. And that focus, that concentration for that, one, as Prabhu said, one has to make the mind a friend. We will see how to make that. But before that, making friend, all other things have to be done. Yam, yam, asan, pranayam, pratyahar, dharan, secluded place, this, that, go separate, do all that. And then focus on one point. Focus can only happen if mind is steady and is still. That is, so these are the challenges of doing the, even though one is doing focusing on Krishna, there are still challenges because one is trying to do focus on the heart. Now here, one more difficulty Krishna adds. Yes, please go ahead. Your answer coming Prabhu after this. Okay Prabhu. From wherever the mind wanders, do it to do it to its flickerings and unsteady nature. One must certainly with, withdraw it and bring it back under the control of the self. Ah. In Krishna consciousness, mm -hmm. yes, okay, but in Krishna Krishna consciousness, one sees Krishna everywhere. No need to withdraw <laughs> and bring back. See Krishna everywhere. Hari everywhere. Thank you, Mataji. Now Krishna adds one more googly that you have to sit. Now you have to focus on me. Now at that stage, he is telling, Look, you think you have made your mind very friendly to you, but what will mind do? Yata yata nishchalati. Wherever nishchal, wherever it will become agitated, manah chanchalam asthiram. It will run here and there, and here and there it will run. He is saying, Tataha tataha niyama etat. Forcefully by regulating it. Tataha tataha. There, there. Eva vasham nayet. Bring it back onto me and focus it. By force you have to do it. In the dhyan yoga process. Which is a more difficult process than what the bhakti yoga process is there. So he is saying when you sit and you try to focus on me in the heart. The mind will run in 100 places. Please bring it back from there and again concentrate. That's what you should do. Now, okay, yes. Shavanti Madhaji, can you please read? No, it's not about that. Text 27. The yogi whose mind is fixed on me, Verily attains the highest perfection of transcendental happiness. He is beyond the mode of passion. He realizes his qualitative identity with the Supreme. 
and thus he is freed from all reactions to past deeds hari bol hari krishna so prabhu's question what he asked the probha is starting to answer already in his translation and purports mainly purports so here everybody has to forcefully bring back and focus back but in krishna consciousness there is no no force there are two ways of doing it one is everything is material i will withdraw my mind from there and i'll focus it at the lotus feet of lord krishna this is one method which is the dhyan yoga method the other one is wherever the mind is there i will try to see krishna because vasudevam sarvamiti sam atma su durlabha okay i have not reached that stage but at least i can try to see oh this person this dog is coming krishna is sitting in here this person is uh, good to me krishna is in this this person is not good to me krishna is teaching me a lesson so there are two distinct aspects of the yoga prabhu so, prabhu starts telling that in krishna consciousness you don't have to do forcefully you see krishna everywhere you try to see at least then it is less painful mind will because mind is is going to run it is it is manufactured like that so and then he tells the yogi whose mind is fixed on me ha maye manadatsva mayim buddhim niveshya the yogi whose mind is fixed on me attains the highest perfection so okay this yogi is focusing on this one inside no problem will also reach the transcendental happiness yes please super जय माता जी श्लोक 6.29 सर्वभूत स्थम आत्मानं सर्वभूतानि चात्मनि इक्षते योगयुक्त मा सर्वत्र क्षमा दर्शन हरी बोल ट्रांसलेशन अ ट्रू योगी ऑब्जर्व्स मी इन अ इन ऑल बीइंग सर्वभूतानां सर्वस्व च अहम and also sees every being in me hum sarvasva prabhavo indeed the self realized person sees me the same supreme lord everywhere mm. vasudeva sarvamiti hari bol you see here a true yogi a true yogi who is who actually who is at the top of the yoga ladder and what that person is doing that person is seeing krishna vasudevam sarvamiti so he said sarvabhutastham atmanam सर्वभूतानि च आत्मनि सर्वभूत स्थम सिचुएटेड इन ऑल बीइंग्स आत्मा नाम हर एक में देखता है कि सुपर सोल बैठा हुआ है इन एवरीबॉडी एंड एन ओ ही आल्सो सीज दैट ही ऑब्जर्व्स मी इन ऑल द बीइंग्स बिकॉज़ आई एम इन देयर ईश्वर सर भूता नाम आई एम सिटिंग इनसाइड देयर हार्ट एंड ही आल्सो सीज एवरीवन एवरीबॉडी इन मी बिकॉज़ अहम सर्वस्व प्रभव so every thing is in me and in everybody i am there that's what a true yogi sees essentially the true yogi sees everything supreme lord everywhere so he doesn't have to force so he's giving the answer slowly what prabhu is asking how the mind can be controlled mind will run it is manufactured by default like that one method is to bring it back and put it at lotus feet of krishna in the heart other is when somebody comes i try to see oh shankar prabhu has come ishwar sir bhutana mridhya arjun tishthati he has krishna in him and then i also see that he is in krishna because aham sarvasya prabhavo everything emanates from him and therefore i also see try to see i mean what that vasudevam sarvamiti sa mahatma su durlabha so therefore i see everything where krishna so then the problem of mind is solved because i don't have to force it i am just changing changing the perspective this is one way of also controlling of course devotional service and all that will come but this is one okay one more time he focuses on this yes please okay to yoma pashyati sarvata sarvam chara mai pashyati dasya hana pranashyami sacha me na pranashyati raghunash prabhu can you please say translation translation for one who sees me everywhere and sees and everything in me i am never lost nor is he ever lost to me vasudevam sarvam and aham sarvasya prabhu ah so what prabhu was asking krishna has actually answered 
He said, look, this is going to be very difficult. Your choice. You can pull it back from wherever it is goes and focus on me. One choice or yo maam pashyati sarvatra. Yo maam, you see me, pashyati, the see, sarvatra, everywhere you see me, no. Because I am Sarvasya Prabhu. And Sarvam Cha Mai Pashyati. And in me you see everybody. Tasya Hamna Pranashyami. For that person. Tasya Aham. I am not. Pranashyami. I am not lost for that person. Chame Na Pranashyati. And neither that person is lost for me. So if mind control. This is actually devotional service. To see Krishna in everybody. And to see Everywhere just see Krishna only. Vasudevam Sarvamiti. So for one who sees me everywhere. Because I am there in super soul of everybody. That is one way. And seeing everything in me. Because I am the source. I am never lost. Why? Because Vasudevam Sarvamiti. Because Bahuna Janmana. But this is Bahuna Janmana Vante. Some people say. Bahuna Janmana Vante. Gyanavanam Prapadyate. Vasudevam Sarvamiti. Samatma Durla. Bahut Janmo Ke Baad Hoga. But the other, the devotee says, Bahuna Janmana Vante has already happened, Baba. Now it should happen now. Ab hoga ni hoga, wo that is on Krishna's mercy only. <laughs> but why should I imagine many more? I should imagine, Bhaiya, ho gaya mera bhai many more. Now you have said so many things, Sarva Dharma, this, that. Now you have to do. So this is one way. So he's actually answered what the person should do. But then, here is what Mosam Prabhu was saying. Yes, Prabhuji. Next devotee, please read. Uh, Mosam Prabhu, can you please read? Thank you, Mataji Hare Krishna. So, text number 33, Allah said, O Madhusudana, O Madhusudan, the system of yoga which you have been summarized appears impractical, impractical <laughs> and unendurable to me. For the mind is restless and unsteady. <laughs> At least one thing you see, Arjun is very frank. He <laughs> with his guru, he said, boss, you have to see my condition. Actually, Arjuna is telling for me. No, he, he is Narnarayan. He, he need not say this. But he is saying the system, the Dhyan Yoga which you are telling, go secluded place, put the deer skin, then cloth and then focus and yam, niyam, seven things you do and then concentrate on me and you are telling also while concentrating mind will run around, bring it back, do this, Baba, itna sab mere se nahi hoga. But, he is still wanting to elaborate more on the last two verses where Krishna is telling Baba, see me in everywhere and me in everything. Then that way you can do better devotional service and you don't have to worry about that because De Krishna will tell later, Devi Eshi Gunmai Mammaya Durattaya. Mameve Prapanjante Maya Metam Tarantite. My Maya is not going to be easily, it, the mind will make you run, but if you surrender, then it is easy. And here is the answer. Next one. Famous dialogue. How much time has happened, Mataji? Bhagavad Gita Shlok 6.34 Chanchalam hi mana krishna pramadhi balvada radhram tasya ham nigraham manye vayo rivasudushkaram Translation by Sri Shila Prabhupada the mind is restless, turbulent, obstinate and very strong, O Krishna, and to subdue it, I think it is more difficult than controlling the mind. Kya baat hai. So he said, he accepted, Baba Chanchalam hi mana Krishna. Aap bol rahe ho, steady kar lo usko. Ye kar lo, wo kar lo, apne bas ka nahi hai because it is pramathi, it is agitating and obstinate. Whatever it decides, it does. Actually, the signature is of the soul, but mind forces. He accepted. Yes, next. How much time Mataji is uh, already passed in the second session? Yes, Prabhu. 10 minutes have passed. Uh, yes, Prabhu. Okay, Mataji Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Shri Bhagavan Vacha 
अशम शर्म बाहो ओ तू निद्रह चलम अभ्यास न तु कौंदे वैराग्य न चीयते Lord Shri Krishna said, "O oh, mighty arm, son of Kunti, it is undoubtedly very difficult to curb the restless mind, but it is possible by suitable practice and by detachment." Hmm. Hari Bol. So, actually speaking, the real truth, what from Acharyas, I am hearing is. that actually speaking mind control by self endeavor is not possible at least for people in kali yuga i think because when krishna is saying it is difficult and arjun is saying i can't do then who are mere mortals in kali yuga but he yes, still ha huh? sorry prabhu this is, this is this is the thing we should understand ah. what you have said no if you understand this point Yes. Then actually we have a problem, and thereby the answer become easier. Actually, we, we forget this point. That is the that is the main problem. I guess we have. Right? Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Prabhu Ji, for sharing. Prabhu Ji, so, yes. Prabhu Ji, one more thing is there. Prabhu Ji, here uh, Krishna is so merciful. Mm. Is at least he is not shouting. What the hell you are talking? <laughs> But it is he is explaining how to control the mind in very good way. <laughs> Prabhu ji, your point is so right. If you look at it, Krishna keeps answering the same answer in different ways to tell Arjun without Prabhu getting ji. angry. So so right. <laughs> so first thing is that it is difficult, and unless and until because Devi eshi gunmai mamaya duratteya, without Krishna mercy, maame ve prapadyante. mind can be controlled once you surrender to krishna but he is giving till that happens fully real, full realization till that time he says okay you practice now one can practice by forcefully removing or by seeing krishna everywhere two methods are still there okay yes please i think we will be able to come it's only 10 15 minutes we have done no in the second session फेक्शन इन मिस्टिसम प्रैक्टिस he takes his birth in a family of transcendentalists who are surely great in wisdom certainly such a birth is rare in this world hmm so arjun also is a fantastic disciple he is asking baba theek hai somebody is trying at least uh, he 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 told he must have told himself i am not going to follow this i will do a better devotional service path but suppose somebody is trying to do this and is unsuccessful or even for that matter in devotional service somebody is not reached the final goal then what happens so krishna tells baba tumko ameer aadmi ke ghar janam de denge you will be born in a rich family so you will not have a problem of earning uh, that much uh, for sustaining a family and you can easily do devotional service because your inclination will be like that but in next verse he says even better than that he will take a birth in a family of transcendentalists in this purport i now remember prabhupad has written a fantastic line anybody remembers guess what okay prabhupad writes in the purport that i was given this kind of family 
So generally the transcendentalists don't disclose their, but sometimes they do. Hare Krishna, I hope all are there, right? Yes, sir. Ah, okay. So yes, sir. Prabhupada writes that I fortunately got a family of such transcendentalists. In this, there in the purport, in uh, 42 purport. So generally transcendentalists, they don't disclose, but here somehow he leaked the information. So he is like that. Okay. And here is the final verse of the Dhyan Yoga. Yes. Sushmita Mataji, can you please read? Ji Mataji. Shloka 6.47 Yogi nam api sarvesam madgate nantar atmana sardha sardhavan vajate yomam same yukta tamu mata Hari Bol. Translation and of all yogis, the one with great faith who always abides in me, thinks of me within himself and renders transcendental loving service to me. He is the most uh, uh, intimately united with me in yoga and is the highest of all. That is my opinion. Hari <laughs> So he gave his final opinion. Yogi namapi sarvesha. Yogi is Sarvesham of all types. Mad Gatena. Inside abiding in me. Meaning always think Mad Gatena. They have, their Gati is only me. That means they are always thinking of me. Antar Atmanaha. Within themselves they are always thinking of me. Not inimically. Shraddhavan. They are full with full faith. What they do? They think of me and they bhajate. They render devotional loving service. Yaha maam saha me yukta tamaha mataha. So my opinion is that they are yukta tamaha. Meaning ultimate, ultimate uh, yogis they are. That is the bhakti yogi. So we will do the recap of this. So Krishna has, I think let's go to the, okay yeah here. Just read this also please. Okay, Prabhu. Motion, Prabhu, can you please read? Uh, so, by the end of the sixth chapter, Krishna has explained the Asht, Ashtang. Ashtang Yoga Siddhi. Ashtang Yoga Siddhi. Ashtang Yoga Siddhi that Yogi Nam Api Sarvesha Mad Gatentara Atmana. Bhagavad Gita 6.47. Always who is thinking of Krishna? Within himself, Shraddhavan, with faith and knowledge, he is the first class yogi. Bah. Hare Krishna. Yogi. This is the, if one is following Ashtang Yoga, what is the Siddhi? What is the ultimate of that? It is this, that the person is thinking of Krishna and is doing devotional service. Let's do the recap. 1 to 5, I will not repeat. I think we still have 5 minutes, so we can do... Two, two lines uh, each devotee can read so that everybody gets uh, to summarize. Yes, please. Okay. One who is un unattached to truths is a sannyasi or not who does not do his duty. Mm. Second one, the yoga learner from a material position to ultimate benefit material jnana yoga, dhyana yoga, bhakti yoga. Uh, Raghunash Prabhu, can you please read first? Second, two. Terence. Ashtang Yoga, which is divisible into, into an eightfold procedure called Yama, Niyama, Asana, Pranayam, Pratyahara, Sense Patrol, Dharana, Concentration, and Dhyana and Samadhi. My biggest enemy and friend. Yes. Motion Prabhu. So, for my biggest enemy and friend, to practice yoga, uh, secluded place, do eight procedures and do dhyan on uh, Paramatma, form of Krishna. When mind wanders, pull back. Arjuna said, very impracticable. Mind is chanchar and agitating. It's like controlling the wind. Krishna. Okay. 
डेस्टिनेशन ऑफ योगी हु हैज नॉट कंप्लीटेड द जर्नी बोर्न इन फैमिली ऑफ रिच और ट्रांसेंडेंटलिस्ट अष्टांग योग सिद्धि दट योगी नाम अभी सर्वेशम मध्यते नंतर आत्मना लास्ट श्लोक सुष्मिता माता जी कैन यू प्लीज सी जी माता जी एंड ऑफ ऑल योगीज द वन विद ग्रेट फेथ हु ऑलवेज अबाइड्स इन मी थिंक्स ऑफ मी विद इन हिमसेल्फ एंड रेंडर्स ट्रांसेंडेंटल लविंग सर्विस टू मी ही इज द मोस्ट intimately united with me in yoga and is the highest of all that is my opinion hari bol grantrashi bhagavad gita ki jai and thank you sumangal prabhu for bringing out the point beautifully and to all of you for so nicely you know take